Well, I must say, to Claire's point, I'm increasingly embarrassed to be a white male these days. <laughs> I mean, what a, light of what I see of my other white male saying. I'm sorry, what was funny about that statement? Don't worry, Brennan, we're all embarrassed that you're a white man too. We talk about it all the time during our white people meetings. And you wonder why people feel the need to plaster it's okay to be white signs up under the cover of darkness. This thing, Ken, I saw the signs. It's concerning, I mean, at, the, at the least. They're right? wondering why, you know, and, and exactly what was the intention in all of this. Because we have powerful government forces and their media mouthpieces actively trying to otherize anyone who is white and presents a threat to them politically. Welcome back everyone, I'm Drone Tech, and today we're gonna talk about this Salem witch trial-esque situation that we have brewing here in America, where white people who oppose the left are the witches. If you like this video so far, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe while you're at it. You might as well hit that bell notification as well so you're notified about all the new content. And since you're here, just give me 30 seconds to tell you about something that's kept me looking good well into my 40s over at healthwithdronetech.com. New studies show that by the time people reach their middle ages, the body often produces less than half the collagen it did in youth. Collagen is the main building block in our skin, making up 70 to 80% of it. This is why we get sagging skin and wrinkles as we age. If you want to look younger, you must supplement collagen. That's exactly why I highly recommend healthwithdronetech.com. Ageless Multi Collagen is a powerhouse of the right ingredients to improve your youthful appearance quickly and effectively. Get my favorite multi collagen for 51% off today by going to www.healthwithdronetech.com or by visiting the link in the description or pinned comment. So what we have here is a known liar and former CIA director, John Brennan, who voted for the Communist Party in 1976. But don't worry, the media says he's not a communist because just voting for a communist doesn't make you one. Yeah, right, yet voting for Republicans somehow makes you a Nazi. Also, isn't it interesting that John Brennan was known as a prolific, untrustworthy liar during the Obama administration, yet somehow evaded any sort of punishment, but then was used as a weapon against Trump for the last four years. Almost seems like they found him useful so they never prosecuted him for lying. Although I will tell you, I have never seen so many whiny white men calling <laughs> themselves victims as I saw over the weekend at CPAC. I mean, these are all people that think that they have a huge grievance um, from a, a position of significant privilege. Wow, I mean, I've just never seen somebody so filled with hatred that they burst out laughing anytime there's a broad, unfair judgment and generalization of white people. I mean, really, do these people not have the foresight to see that the anger and the divisiveness that they're generating is gonna eventually blow back on them? <laughs> So what we have here is this panel of lying politicians and state media propagandists telling the country that if you're a white person and you're a Republican, you're a monster who has no right to air your grievances because you have none. Because they in the media and in the Democrat party have broadly declared you to have privilege. They're assigning you a trait and broadly judging everybody with this trait based on skin color. It's literally the very definition of racism. But good news, you can't be racist to a white person. You may have assumed that race guilt, collective punishment, moral purity based on bloodline, you thought those were discredited ideas, creepy relics of a darker time. It turns out they're not. It turns out the New York Times wholeheartedly embraces those ideas. So does much of the left. Don't you just love that this powerful Democrat politician is teamed up with a state media mouthpiece who, by the way, once claimed that Trump was exterminating Latinos. And a former CIA director who once voted for the Communist Party and who has a long record of lying without any punishment. To broadly generalize and demonize a group of people based on their skin color. Because when I tune into a news program to get the truth, I always look for these kinds of people to give it to me. Because a couple of politicians, literally a couple of people who also happen to be white males hold political positions that he disagrees with. And somehow this extends to all white males. I'm still trying to figure out what any of this has to do with race. Well, I think we're right now battling some fascist tendencies among some people in terms of just highly nativist tendencies and instincts. So what we have seen happen around the globe over the last hundred years or so, I think we see elements of it here in the States, which is a, a very nativist, xenophobic, and uh, in some respects, uh, a, a movements that uh, are prone to lashing out and suppressing the, the, the views, the interests uh, of, of others in their country. So uh, it's very unfortunate what we've seen on 
the last four years. And I am very confident that Joe Biden brings to the office of the presidency the character, the dignity, the experience, and an understanding of history and law and the Constitution that I think Americans have been desperately uh, looking for over the past several years. Brennan talks about elements within the U.S. that are, quote, xenophobic and, quote, lash out against others, suppressing views and interests of others in the country. Isn't this exactly what they're doing right now? They're working to demonize half the country that are also under assault by big tech and corporations that are canceling anybody to the left of Stalin. That's literally their job right now, to generate justifications for silencing their political opposition and declaring their interests to be invalid. I mean, these are all people that think that they have a huge grievance um, from a, a position of significant privilege. Lastly, during that CNN interview that I just played, Brennan expresses his confidence that Biden will bring a, quote, understanding of the history, law, and constitution that Americans have so desperately been looking for. He says this being on the side that's currently otherizing 74 million Americans, burning books, and censoring dissent. Ask yourself this question. At what point in history were the good guys ever the people that were censoring and burning books? That's all I have for this one please hit that like button share and subscribe and i'll see you all next time